to, I, I went, had to go to college to learn one thing. I didn't have any specific major in mind. I wanted to learn to have a better vocabulary. I wanted to learn how to be able to speak in front of people because I had to defend my children. I had to go to, to the schools and, and talk with the faculty because in Klamath Falls, Oregon, when I was raised there, it was very negative against Indian children is the young Indian students, and it still is. To a certain degree, it still is. 20 years ago, my niece was murdered. She was 13 years old down there. She was murdered. And the guy wrote a confession, the whole thing. He was, he, he described everything. And the jury found him innocent. And it, it really irks me because they, they, they let it, by. And it's no different today, as far as I'm concerned. But that's another subject. <laughs> but I'm just saying, that's why I've been really involved. I want to be involved in what Chihuahua is doing. You know, my husband is 68, or he'll be 68 in, June, in July. He doesn't want to retire. This is something that he loves doing. This is something that I love doing, being there, encouraging him. You know, when we go up to the sweat lodge and he, take, and he goes and something happens with the, the young people and they want somebody spiritual to come to them, then they go to him. And I'm glad that he is such a spiritual person and wants to share with these young people. But they need a lot of support here. They need a lot of it. You know, he's involved with performing arts. And he's, you know, it's a struggle because for some way, the schools in this community, in the Kaiser and Salem, they come here and they use all the things. They use the swimming pool, they use everything, you know? And when Warner takes the performing arts young people to go and perform and do things, uh, Indian things, they don't want to give, they don't think that they should give an honorarium. You know, they sort of like, well, you know, we have these little programs that come in and, and help with the clothes every once in a while and everything, help the young Indian kids. So if they go out there and do things that they have to, that they do, then have these little Indian kids performing for them, then it's something that they got coming to them. And the only reason that it's in an honorarium expected or even desired is because they have to raise their own money. The performing arts has to raise their own own money in order to, to do things, to make their regalia, to buy their to buy the materials, and to bring in speakers, to bring in people to help them to learn to make regalia and to be and do the different things. And so far, there's not been that much support, not that, been that much help. But the reason why they ask for a little bit of help with, with money is so that they can buy these things. And it's not something that, you know, that um, we don't encourage the children to go out begging for anything. But they do, they do work hard. Sometimes they need a lot more encouragement than young people really do. Some people, some of the young people come here and they don't want to go home, even for the summer. But they like Jamala. Even some of the graduates want to come back and hang out. <laughs> they can't, but they like to. <laughs> but I, I just want to, you know, I want to say performing arts to us has been something that is really important because I think need to be able to stand up in front of people and adults and, and other people and, and talk about what they need and what they, what they, the way they see things without being, you know, uh, accused of being a smart mouth or anything else, but they need to learn how to, you know, to, to do it in an effective way. Learn the difference between aggressiveness and assertiveness. Learn things in the vocabulary when they're being um, patronized and 
I can't think of the other words right now. <laughs> Just when I learned everything, I turned 66 and I'm forgetting it all. <laughs> so, <clears throat> I'm, I'm just asking everybody to please spread the word, please think about it, supporting these young people when school starts again and they're performing arts and coming in and, you know, helping with, of course, we have to go through a process before you can come in a whole lot which is good, you don't want them to be exposed to everybody. But um, the thing is, is that they do need a lot more help. They need to learn how to be able to stand up for themselves and, just, and to get a good self-esteem. It means everything. It means a matter of life and death, as far as I'm concerned. You know, I, I was very suicidal when I was young because I had such a negative feeling. And I, and I did, I, I listened to the woman talk about how she was abusive to her children. I was abusive to my children because of the angry inside of me too. I know exactly where that came from. We're all products of how we were treated, or how we were raised. And our parents were products of how they were raised. The, yeah, the, 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 the boarding school, the early boarding school experience must have been hell on earth. And so a lot of our parents and our grandparents were products of that. But we don't need to carry it on. Thank you. I'm going to just ask everybody to um, take a couple really deep breaths with me. And just to allow the air to come in out. And then I'm going to ask you to shake the hand of the person on the left and the right of you, and I want you to look into their eyes, and I want you to tell them that they're handsome and that they're beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Was there anything else that we needed? Okay. Okay, um, uh, my sister, please tell us now. Jala wa anashi. Taka haska shina shishli. I'm speaking to the woman that sang to my, my heart that came here today broken. I'm asking how many people here have our on ancestral land besides me? Please raise your hand. Right on. So we welcome our visitors. Jamal. My grandfather was full-blooded Chet Cook, Archie Ben. He was one of my greatest, greatest teachers, fluent in the language. And I was one of those young people that would ask lots and lots and lots of questions. That's why I've worked for my tribe since I got out of high school in 79, do the math, maybe. <laughs> Hey, right on, that's right. <laughs> My niece knows. <laughs> but um, each one of you, my elders here today, thank you for letting me have some of your precious, precious time. Um, my healing began through ACOA, and I learned about my role in my, my family and uh, and I learned how to drink when my dad died. I learned that very well. And uh, over half my life, I've been without my dad, who helped restore the Confederate tribes of the Celeste Indians. 